Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me. Now, as you know, uh, a week or so ago now, I had Andrew Bridgen, MP, on the show, and it was a fantastic interview. I was very lucky that he spoke to me and talked about not only the Submasters post office thing, which loads of people were really interested in, which was wonderful, but of course, the main thing that he's been fully engaged with at the moment, and that is about the vaccine and the excess deaths and the harms that seem to be coming from this medical procedure. Well, um, I wanted to have an update with Andrew because so many of you had thanked me and got in touch and said how wonderful it was and how powerful that interview was. And they wanted to express their thanks to him as the only MP who's really had the gumption to stand up and ask the relevant questions. And yet, of course, we've seen more uh, revelations in the various different media outlets, apart from the mainstream media, of course, and we're hearing more about excess deaths not sort of stopping, and yet the government don't seem to be able to talk about it. So I thought I'd talk to Andrew, but more worrying than that is I've also been hearing from, from you guys and various sources that Andrew is under such a lot of pressure that he's been feeling very down about this, and it's, it's quite worrying because clearly the pressure can be too much. So the last thing we want to do is to lose Andrew Bridgen. Andrew, thank you so much for pausing in your very busy schedule to talk to us. Um, how are you and how's it going? Um, I'm, I'm really good, uh, Richard. Yes, I, I heard your introduction. Um, the interview we did went really well. I had a lot of very positive feedback from constituents and obviously people from all, all over over the world. Uh, I'm still getting lots and lots of support uh, on my inbox every single day. And I just had a brilliant weekend in the constituency. We had a jobs fair at uh, East Midlands Airport, um, hundreds of jobs available. My seat's got some of the lowest unemployment already. So we're bringing people in from Derby, Nottingham, Leicester to, to, to take these jobs. And it was all very positive. Um, lots of good recognition from my constituents and you know whether i walk around the streets in my constituency or when i'm going outside of parliament in london every time i go out there people stop in the street and shake hands with me and thank me for the work i'm doing and speaking up about the vaccine harms and the vaccine injured so i'm, I'm in really good spirits but you Is are it? right there have been some awful rumors flying around um even last week i, I was contacted um, by the welfare department in Parliament, and they said that people had been telling them that I was suicidal, um, and they needed to ring me and make sure I was all right. I assured them that I was absolutely invigorated uh, for the the uh, the campaign that we're on to to raise this awareness and to stop the vaccines being rolled out altogether. Um, but it's it is deeply worrying. I, I don't like rumours like that flying around. No, absolutely. I mean, this is what was what was very much concerning a number of people who've been in touch with me. And I I know we've had various conversations privately and I thought you didn't seem like there was any un, any pressure. And of course, why would you tell somebody like me if you were? But it's great that you're able to put the record straight, I suppose. Yes, I think I think we need we need to do that. I mean, it almost feels as if someone's playing some sort of psyops game on me, like <laughs> spreading them. Not, not that and would ever do that in this country, would they, Richard? No, of course not. Not with a benevolent and, and kind organisation that you work for and, and all of that, of course. So it's really, it's really encouraging to, to know that you're in great spirits. And the, um, the campaign's going really well. I mean, all the time we're hearing lots of um, interesting and some of it bizarre, you know, with the, the recent revelations with uh, Project Veritas that came out with that video that went uh, pretty viral there's so many questions and yet still the the government is is almost well they are just refusing to engage with it it's a, it's almost like being in a parallel universe um, i'm in parliament at the moment this is my office in in port Cullis house and it's a monday so i mean i've, I've been here for a few hours we'll sit till 10 o'clock tonight um four members of staff not that don't work for me but you know, there are, whether it's cleaners chefs uh secretaries have come up to me this morning and, and thanked me for the work I'm doing to you know, bring to public attention this issue. The sad thing is I haven't got any colleagues who are members of parliament who are doing that. that. And, and that, that, that's the parallel universe that we're, 
we're living in. Yes. And uh, it's the same when I go out into the, into the wider public. Everybody knows. I think we've probably got 65, 70% of the public now realise there's something wrong. And that, that's backed up by the fact that although the, the, uh, the booster programme is still running supposedly until the 12th of, of February for everybody mm-hmm. over the age of five, uh, 96% of the appointments are uh, not being taken up. I think that, that says something. And also say. information that was passed to me some time ago, that even the autumn booster programme, 65% of NHS staff refused to take the, the boosters. And I guess they know, don't they? Yes. Well, you, you certainly are making an impact. And um, it's great to know that the public if not the MPs, are definitely backing you. And it must give you that confidence to keep going and uh, and bring some some end to this so that we can all get on with our lives and talk about other things. It would be absolutely fantastic, but it is that public support which is a huge strength to me, not only from my constituents, but from the wider public and indeed from, from, from around the world. And I intend to campaign on this because it's the most important issue, as we all know, that we're probably going to see in our lives, Richard. And it's going to decide the sort of country we, we live in and society we live in in the future and for our children and our children's children. Yes, I absolutely, totally agree. Well, it's great to see you buoyed up and still fighting fit and um, and doing and fighting all our corner. And on behalf of all my viewers who've been in touch with me who wanted to pass on their thanks, a big, big thanks. And um, I hope that uh, in, a, in a month or so's time we can have another catch up and find out how it's going. Thank you, Richard. Thanks for uh, dropping in. No problem. Thank you again.